When I was 16, I launched my first AI SaaS company called Planzo just a month after the idea came and hit me in the shower. I spent less than £100 to get it off the ground, didn't touch a single line of code, and you know the best part, I still own 100% of the company. No investors, no dev team, no debt, just me and my overworked ChatGPT agent. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how I did it and how you can replicate my success too, because let's be honest, I know you've been splitting the bill with your girlfriend and she's getting sick of it and she's about to leave you for someone a lot richer. Building software, especially software including AI, is definitely one of the most lucrative business models out there. But this by no means makes it a get rich quick scheme. In fact, this project is probably harder than 90% of other side hustles out there. But with the tools I'm about to show you, it's going to make it a whole lot easier, leaving you just to do the marketing. Now, before we even go and touch tools and templates, let's go back to where all this starts, finding the idea. I didn't sit down and go, I need to start the next Facebook or Instagram, because realistically, that's not going to happen. It's just not, especially not on your first software attempt. I just sat down with a whiteboard and a whiteboard pen and thought, what problems am I experiencing day to day? So for me, I run several businesses, but I want to make sure my personal brand is always good and has a good reputation. But planning the content to post on my accounts is literally a nightmare. It's messy, it's unorganized, and every single solution that I seem to find online is literally just Microsoft Excel with a bit of AI. So I thought, what if I could build my own AI system that simplifies the content creation process? This is going to generate ideas, scripts, hooks, pretty much anything you could ever need. Not in a boring or a clunky way, something that's actually useful. That's where Planzo AI was born. I'm always a big believer in solving your own problems first, serving yourself as the first customer because then you're going to know exactly who to target in your marketing campaigns. Chances are if you're suffering with a problem, there are going to be thousands of other people suffering with the same problem. You've just got to find out how to market to them. So from now, what I'm telling you to do is sit down for 10, 20 minutes and come up with a list of problems you're facing. Then take that into ChatGPT, plug in your problems and say, hey ChatGPT, I want to build an AI SaaS company that solves these problems. Then it's going to come up with SaaS companies that solve the problems you're facing day to day. Alright, once you've gone through and picked out a list of five softwares you think are possible to build, let me give you this six step checklist to check if they're viable. Number one, does it actually solve a problem or does it just sound cool to build in your head? Be honest, if the software just solves a little pet peeve that some people in your niche might be experiencing, that's that's not a software, that's a hobby, bin it up. Number two, can you describe the problem and convey the emotion that it makes you feel in one sentence without making it sound like a TED talk? If it takes over 10 seconds to explain, that's not good enough and it's not gonna help when you have to market it. Number three, would you actually pay for it? I always say you've gotta build softwares around your problems. So if you, yourself, the target customer wouldn't even pay for it, what's the point of even trying to build it? Number four, can I at least find five friends or mutual connections that struggle with the same problem? So for me, with Plans of AI, I had a list of 300 people in my Discord who are all content creators who all struggled with content planning. So this set plans out as one of the best software ideas I'd ever had. Number five, is it possible to build with AI? There are some softwares that simply aren't able to be built just using AI and no human intervention. Whilst most of the time you will be okay building it with AI, there are some softwares where AI has its limitations, but most of the time you will be okay. Just do your research before you start trying to build it. Number six, does it make some kind of process cheaper, faster, or more efficient. If it doesn't save people time, money, or brain cells, then who is actually going to find use in your software? All right, if you made it through all those six, let's start on how you're actually going to build the software. Okay, guys, I'm now on my laptop and I'm going to build you a software in front of your own eyes just so you can see what is possible when you use AI. So, firstly, we're going to ChatGPT and I've given it some questions on the software I want to create. Then I've just said, build me a lovable prompt for the software I want to build. Here we are. Here's the prompt that I'm going to drop into Lovable. So now we're over in Lovable and I'm just going to paste the prompt in that ChatGPT gave me. Pretty much it's just asking me to build the SaaS app, it's giving me the main features, all the sub features, everything, all the functionality, it's asked Lovable to ask me for my open AI key just so I can make the AI element of the app working. So then all we're going to do is send it and this is only going to cost me one message and if you didn't know you get five free messages a day and then it goes on to the paid plans. They're quite generous, for £50 a month you get 250 credits which is enough to to build an app if your app isn't too complex so building a full software for 50 pounds you really can't complain all right so as you can see it is now generating me a fully working site in literally three minutes as you can see the landing page is already beautiful there's not too much i would even change with that obviously you got these old kind of drop down boxes which i would change but apart from that it's a very solid site it's got all the pricing it's got the sign up and the login flows already so all i need to do now is connect it to Superbase, and then we should be able to test it out so to 
connect it to Superbase, all you want to do is click Manage Superbase and then Create New Project. So we'll put it under the Panzo organization and then we'll just call it InstaScript. I think that's what the software is called. And then password, we'll just spam some letters because I'm never going to use it before, again. Uh, and then Create New Project, Confirm. There we go, InstaScript is now live and then all we're going to do is connect it to Loverball and there we go, it's fully connected which means our sign up and our login flows will now be fully working. The pricing tables will be working so when a user buys a subscription it will update them automatically. Alright, so I'm now going to create an account with the software just so I can show you guys exactly what it's about uh, and I'll just do a test password now. There we go, we're in. So here you can see it's asking us for our OpenAI key on the front end. This isn't what you want if you're building a software, never ask for people for the API key on the front end because one, that's dodgy as fuck, and two, most people do not know how to access the API key. So you need to make sure you're using your own API key for everyone else's. Obviously, this is gonna cost you a bit of money, but when you're running a software that's generating you money, you're not gonna have to worry about these costs at all. So all we're gonna say is please take away the OpenAI API key data entry from the front end I am going to give you this key now obviously I can't show you guys my key so I'll get back to you guys once I've entered it into the AI alright so I've now entered the API key in this secure data entry you shouldn't put it in the chat I did but you shouldn't do that now it's gonna go ahead and add this API key to make sure users use your key and they don't have to input their own alright as you guys can now see it is now using the API key in the back end so let's sign in and we'll see alright as you guys can now see it's now removed the front-end API key input and it's now going to use the back-end one so let's sign up let's sign it in sorry uh, and then we'll see if it's in there so as you can see the sign in function already works and then we'll just select content niche we'll go with health and wealth uh, we'll do personal development content goal boost engagement additional notes I want to make a video surrounding my, my side hustle of I don't know. Let's just go e-commerce. And we'll click generate script and it will start generating. Oh, that was quick. So it's made the hook, it's made the body of text. We can filter for what we want to see. So we've got hook, body, call to action. There we go. And then all you've got to do is copy or download it. That's very good. And you can just download it just like that and you've got the script saved. Then you can go to my scripts and you can view all of the scripts you've generated in the past. There you go guys, that literally took me five minutes to build a software that realistically, I could probably sell that for £10 a month easily. So if you wanna if you wanna steal that, be my guest because I'm not building it. But yeah, that is a very simple SaaS company that I've just managed to build in five minutes using AI. And that was completely free because as you know, you get five free credits per day. And I only used five there. So that shows you what's truly possible with AI on the cheap end. Just imagine if I sat here for another hour perfecting it, perfecting all the images, perfecting the landing page, all the functionality. This SaaS company would be worth thousands. Once you're fully happy with the software, once you got it connected to Superbase and Stripe and perfected all of the funnels, the landing pages, the call to actions, everything. All you're going to have to do now is market the product. This is one of the most fun things, but it's also pretty frustrating if you don't get it right. So for most of the modern SaaS companies, all you want to do is start five or ten TikTok, Instagram, YouTube short channels. On this, you're just going to be posting as many short form videos as you can. These can be short and snappy, just showing you using the software and its value it provides. Within a few weeks, you should be able to start getting some organic traffic to your site. And then within a month or so, you should be able to get your first paid user. Once you get to this point, you can dive into the world of paid advertising, but I'm going to leave that for another video. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like below and subscribe if you found value in this video. If you guys want to know anything else when it comes to building softwares completely with AI as a user, young broke teenager just comment below your questions and i'll be sure to answer them anyway that's it for today's video goodbye